done my beautiful gang members my name is Features Gaming and welcome back to another video today I'm doing a tutorial on how to record Euro Truck with no lag so it's very simple what you're going to need is two things okay you're going to need hang on let me just get my headphones sorted out because they're bugging me there we go so what you're going to need is two programs very simple OBS and you and Euro Truck. So what you need to do is all done in the settings. It's not just to do with Euro Truck and your and your graphics on Euro Truck because the graphics on the Euro Truck will show up in your recording. So what you're going to need to do is is you need to go to settings, which is up here in the top left. If you fire up OBS, you click that, and then you have a settings option. You click on that. <coughs> And then you have general encoding, broadcast settings, video, audio, hotkeys, advanced, quick sync encoder, browser, microphone noise gate, and scene switcher. What you're going to do, the general doesn't really do anything. You can select, you just need to select your language. You don't really need a setting profile, encoding. This is where a bit of it comes, it comes in. So the quick sync, you don't need that. The enable CB the CBR paddling that needs to be switched on so what you do is you enable CBR this is only just for the moment and then you tick that and then you untick CBR and then that will automatically still be ticked the quality balance needs to be about 4 if you in this <coughs> and this is to record your Euro truck if you have a slow computer if you don't have a slow computer you can just do your 10 but 4 with Euro Truck with a not that good computer will work fine because if I if you see if I come in here this is just what I was doing when I was testing for my last Euro Truck video no wait hang on my upcoming Euro Truck uh, video if you if I go to my windows hang on no that's wrong hang on where is it just minimize that for a moment um where is it yeah <clears throat> I think it's here hmm I don't know where it is guys but oh here it is <laughs> and it's that isn't no it's not haven't found it but I trust you that my laptop is not that good with why is it opening the browser my computer is not that faster gaming computer it's just like a laptop and it's just that it's not like supposed to be a gaming um, laptop so it's got like a 4 gigabyte RAM or stuff so with the settings with the encoding that will do fine so if you go look on my last Euro Truck video you will see that it's lagging a lot and it's got my face in because I wanted you to see my face and my new setup but I that's one of the reasons why it lags so much the other reason is because this was still on 10 the CBR was enabled and everything was just all over the place so you untick the CBR because it, it, it will be ticked default defaultly you check that to 4 and the max bitrate you can that's when you need to figure out your um, internet speed I think mine is around 3000 but that's when you want to live stream and that's where we come on to the broadcast settings and it, even if you're going to do live stream it doesn't really matter but the file output is what's going to happen this is where your um, that's where your video your recording will be saved to so that is quite important all you can do is just highlight it control C for your um, copy if you're on Windows 10 if you're on Windows 8 or 7 you can just highlight it click right click and copy and then paste it into your um, folder delete that and then just control V or paste we don't really need that up now um, video yes um, what you need to do is you need your 
um, graphics card, mine is just the default one, and the custom base resolution needs to be 1280 by 720 that is important with the aspect ratio of 16.9 that really doesn't do anything because I did it with a 17 something but this I don't think is I think this bit is very important the base resolution I'm not quite sure but I think it's quite important if you want a good quality video without lag and then your resolution downscale needs to be 1280 by 720 that also can depend on your screen resolution as well with your screen monitor so if you right click with your personalize there will be hang on no it's not there well, well, there'll be like a screen resolution thing. Where is it? But if you right click it and go to where it says screen resolution, you should find it quite easily. You'll find out the screen resolution of your laptop or what you are recording on. And then you just need to copy that into this video now sorry this is a very long video and I'm stuttering to try and speak it's because I've just found this out and I've been doing a lot of recordings recently and it has worked and I'm struggling to say everything out because I'm not that technical I mean I am technical because uh, I do YouTube videos obviously but I'm not like the master of tech if you see what I mean uh, FPS 30 you could have it set to 45 or whatever you want if you want a good looking video my videos when I was just doing some tests looked fine to me the audio doesn't really matter with the microphone it doesn't matter that is my um, microphone I'm using right now because I've got a, a new microphone I've got a <coughs> uh, new headphones which have got a microphone built in and that's why you can hear me breathing and my um, you know if I go like like rest you can hear that quite loudly um, in terms of the settings I think that is done is it done let me just check Broadcast, yeah, hotkey. The hotkeys you can just do automatically. This doesn't affect anything on your video, as well as the advanced stuff, uh, as well as that. And I think, oh yeah, you can just um, go onto microphone noise gate and just do a preview stream, and then go to here and just find out what your sound is like. I think that looks quite cool. <clears throat> if you change anything on here it won't affect all it will affect is your microphone and noise as, as well with the browser stuff as well the scene switcher that won't affect anything with your quality and stuff and lag because obviously when you la if when you play Euro Truck on a bad computer it lags a lot um, but if you do all of these settings on OBS and if you want to record being a YouTuber this will definitely work for you and in terms I think that is done the only thing that you m need to do is create the scene and what you want to do and click the main screen make sure that box is ticked because if it's not your whole screen will just be black so make sure that is ticked your microphone I would say would be about if you've got like a microphone like me that is like right next to your face I'd say about 50 to 60 percent on that and your sound I'll say 20 to 10 depending on how you would like your voice and your sound to be if you would like your voice to be boomy then I would say about 80 to 90 because if it's on 100 that would just blast people out of their world and if you want the sound to be very low you can even have it on mute because I'm not recording anything so we can just do like that but I'm gonna bring that up to 20 so it's ready for my next recording because straight after this recording I'm gonna go record my next Euro Truck video so if you click on my channel and go down to when this was published the video after should be my next recording of my Euro Truck but let's not say anything about that because that's for you to enjoy when you go on my channel but in terms of the recording with your Euro Truck without lag 
this should be the exact settings that you should have on your OBS when recording Euro Truck. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If this helps you out a lot, then smash that like button and comment down below if you, if you have any other settings that will make it a bit more graphical, a bit better with everything and just give me some feedback on what you like on my videos and I will see and if you're new around here then I'd like for you to subscribe and get notified by YouTube when I put out a new video I was going on to a different topic then but then I remembered oh yeah I'm supposed to be ending out my video not talking about more about my YouTube channel but that is for other purpose videos so from right now I'd like for you to subscribe and stay in, in, um, and Get notified by YouTube when I put out a new video. Literally, my endings are turning into a tongue twister right now. But apart from that, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in my Euro Truck video or another video depending on what date you see this video. So I'll see you then.